We know the town centre in Tamworth has struggled over many years with its retail offer. We also know that the retail boom of 40 and 50 years ago is coming to an end and people are changing the way they shop and that's having an impact on our town centre. Now there are a few things that, uh, that I'd like to set, start by setting, with setting the context uh, and that is there's some really simple answers out there to town centres however once you dig deeper they're not actually that simple. So the first thing is rent. Reduce the rent, it's great, we can get shoppers in. The rents aren't controlled by the Borough Council, they're controlled by property owners. Rates, the rates aren't controlled by the Borough Council, they're controlled by government. We collect them on behalf of the government, but we don't set them. The other thing we can't control, the big thing, is behaviour. We can't control what people do. If they want to shop online or at supermarkets, that's their choice. If they don't want to buy the products that are on offer in the town centre, they won't. In the same way, we can't control which businesses and which shops come into, into Tamworth. It's entirely down to those, those individual businesses. We have no control over that. And what we can do is create the right environment and the right conditions for a town centre to thrive and for local business to thrive. And that's what we're aiming for. So a couple of years ago, 2019, my predecessor, Daniel Cook, uh, set up the Tamworth What's Next consultation. This, uh, this involved a, a consultation pack that went out, involved some public meetings. Uh, I think there were three evenings with the members of the public, one evening with local businesses and one evening with the voluntary sector. These produced a list of priorities for the town centre and we listed those and there's, uh, there's about ten of them. We took those and we took eight of those and fed them into a project, a bid for future high street funds. So there's eight of those things were listed in there and these were given the town centre identity, more niche shops, uh, a, ver a variety of entertainment and time spent uh, in the evening and we put those together in part as, as part of our bid for the Future High Street Fund. The move to the town centre by the college is, is their decision and they've approached the council. We are fully supportive of it because there is one thing that town centres need. Town centres need people. If you don't have pe people in the town centre, it's not going to thrive. Moving the college puts thousands of students and hundreds of members of staff into the town centre. If I can go through a little bit of detail of, uh, of the project, we're looking at the college moving in to the old department store uh, that, that was formerly the co-op, and at the same time, opening a new enterprise centre in the listed building part of the, of the car that faces Coldhaw. So in doing so, we've got people in the town centre learning skills, we've also got links into the uh, enterprise centre and into growing business. So there's a, a career path being formed by moving the college next to the, enterprise, next to the new enterprise centre and also putting people in the town centre who are going to spend money and spend time. As I say, town centres thrive when people are in there. But people don't just shop in town centres. They work, they spend time, they socially interact. Half the people in the town centre today will be there just to see another person, especially as we come out of lockdown. So, so we need to build an environment where local businesses and maybe some multinationals uh, can actually you know, provide the services, provide the space, provide the leisure options that people need in Tamworth to uh, really to, to enjoy their lives and that's the and that's the vision the target we're, we're going for with the, with the town centre. This week the the cabinet met and agreed the terms of reference uh, for the for the project board so we were awarded the cash in December we're now at mobilization stage so we're taking on the contractors we're procuring the, the support uh, and the designers um, and, that's, uh, and that's running now and we've, we've just set up a, a project board which involves senior officers, it involves the chief exec of Tamworth College as a key partner uh, and it also involves the chief exec of the Staffs and Stoke-on-Trent uh, Local Enterprise Centre, um, partly because they, they bring skills and knowledge uh, but also they're, they're used to delivering on, on these sorts of projects. So this isn't just Tamworth Borough Council alone uh, and that's, that's a, key, a key issue. We, we've received funding uh, from the government, 21.65 million. We're looking at about 40 million for the whole project and we need to find that extra 18 and a half million pounds. Some of that will come through the college support uh, in, in their grant applications. Some of it will come from the Borough Council. Some of it will come from private uh, partners uh, and, and other individuals who are key 
uh, to this, including property owners uh, in the town centre. So it's a multi-partnership uh, approach. It's not just the Borough Council uh, that, that's doing it on its own. The difficulty at the moment is you guys can't see anything. We're, we're, we're doing all this stuff in the background to get things going and get things moving uh, and doing the deals with property owners and, uh, and landowners and what have you. Um, and really we need to start drawing some plans on, uh, on, on bits of paper. So the design stage will be coming later. Uh, if you get the chance, have a look on our website. There's a, there's a section about the project. Also have a look at the cabinet papers because there's an indicative timeline there that shows the five pieces uh, of the project. So that's the, the co-op site with the, with the college, the enterprise centre, um, changes to middle entry, uh, potentially widening that, uh, some, uh, uh, some, some multi-use uh, semi-permanent structures at the back of the town hall for, for niche markets and, uh, sorry, for niche businesses and shops. Uh, and also there's the, the opening up of the, of the gateway to the castle grounds. Um, so all those are detailed in there. Uh, at quite a high level, uh, but also there's a timeline as to how we get from now to March 2024 uh, when, we, when we should have the, the project finished.